NextGen automatically calculates the most efficient way to break up or combine the excavation entities you have created and assign them to locate requests. In this example, NextGen has determined that three tickets are required to cover the excavation areas. These tickets are represented by the tabs in the upper left corner of the screen, temporarily named Ticket A, B, and C. If you see a red exclamation point, it means the ticket is missing required information that must be entered before the ticket can be released. There will be a matching exclamation point in the section where the information is missing, and a red border around each required field that is empty. The red globe icon indicates the mapping on that ticket has not been reviewed. You must review the mapping on each ticket before they can be released. The green chain link icon indicates that group edit mode is on. Group edit mode allows you to make changes to all tickets in the current session simultaneously. You can toggle group edit mode on and off by clicking on it. Fill out the information on each ticket as accurately as possible. In this example, all tickets have a common customer. North Central Positronics. They will also have the same answer for the duration and directional boring questions. With group edit mode on, the information entered in these fields will carry over to all three tickets. Now that excavation information has been filled out for all three tickets, the red exclamation point is no longer visible. Turning group edit mode off allows for entering information on each ticket individually. In this example, the type of work will vary on each ticket, so we'll fill out that field while in individual edit mode. NextGen automatically generates the location information based on the mapping you did on the previous page. It should describe the entire work area in great detail, along with GPS information. If the location of work is inaccurate, you can return to the mapping stage and redraw the excavation entity. If you run into trouble, remember to consult the map on the right side of the page. Again, if necessary, you can return to the mapping section and remap the area. When you have finished filling out and reviewing all of your ticket's information, click the Next button. This will take you to the Ticket Disposition page. Here you can edit the start date and time and action NextGen will take with each ticket. Consult the Session Disposition table for an overview of each ticket. When you are ready, click the Submit button. This will activate the action assigned to each ticket, which typically means releasing the tickets to the affected utilities. You will also be presented with the Utility Notification List. Depending on your eyesight privileges, each ticket should now display a ticket number, along with its temporary name. You can tab through the tickets to review each Utility Notification List. You can now choose to log out or return to the main menu.